Hey, what's happening? It's me, Kadero Hudson, the wingman. Yes, I am here today because I haven't made any, you know, content in a while. So I am planning on going on my vacation. Yes, tomorrow I will be in Vegas party, partying, going to bar, bars, bar hopping. So I decided to drop at least maybe two or three videos for this week because I know you guys haven't seen me in a while. So holla at your boy, the wing man, because you know I deliver that delicious sauce. Yes, you, you guys also know that I bring that sauce. I bring that fire content day in and day out. And today, you know, it uh I have some fire content to bring to you guys today. So as you know, my channel is all about financial management, financial planning, dividend growth investments through uh, just different growth portfolios and, and just also all overall dividend growth stocks. And today we're going to talk about my portfolio update. Well, one of my dividend portfolio updates and a couple things that I've been doing in the past several weeks because I haven't made a, a video in over a week. And so I want to show you guys what I've been up to and a couple of things that I plan on doing in these next couple of weeks. So if you're excited, if you want to learn about wealth management, how to, how to make money online through online business or e-commerce, then you came to the right channel. It is me, the millennial investor, 1914. Yes. I got the gold wash on. I got the haircut. I'm ready for my vacation. So if you are ready to learn something today, welcome. Okay. So here we go. Let's, let's dive in. So today, as, as you see, uh, I have broke the $75,000 mark. Yes, today I'm going to go, we're going to go over the div, my dividend income that I made in the month of June, all of June. So I'm just let you know right now that I made over $150 in dividend income and passive income last month in dividend stocks. Boom. Pack, pack up your bags, end of the video. No, don't leave. <laughs> so right here, you see that I, I started my new job. So I began to contribute uh, money into my 401k, my new job. You see that my portfolio right here is uh, has increased. My Roth IRA is definitely uh, approaching eleven thousand. But today we're gonna, we're going to talk about my taxable dividend portfolio. As you see, a month ago I was around forty four thousand, and not in this video to go over it, but. I bought $2,500 worth of dividend stocks in this recent past month. And then also in the next couple of weeks, I plan on buying another $2,500. So I, I, sh I should get this right here, this amount up to $50,000. And my goal is to at least get this to around 51, 52,000, this portfolio by the end of 2023. It's only July. So I got a plan. I got a plan. got a plan to action. So on, on, on this screen right here, I wanted to show you guys real quick of my dividend income. So not, not going to just bore you guys, but just to show you right here that, boom, I received a di dividend income from KLA, JM Smucker, UPS. And then on the right side, it shows the, the, the amounts of dollars in terms of what these different uh, stocks paid me in terms of uh, passive income. And as you see right here that these are not, well, some of them are, are small increments like Microsoft paying $3.44. But for the most part, my I've been investing for the past five years. And so me buying dividend stocks, reinvesting my dividend income, and then uh, so re reinvesting buy it and then also the dividend increase the the, the, tri the triangle the trifecta my dividend income ha has been growing at, at, a, at a faster pace and so yes when you first start out buying dividend stocks or and creating a portfolio it's slow it sucks when your when your portfolio is at five hundred dollars ten thousand dollars but once you get past twenty thousand dollars in terms of your overall portfolio then your snowball you begin to see a lot more in terms of your dividend income being more than ten dollars. For example, Amgen right here paid me fifteen dollars. Enbridge paid me twenty five dollars right here. U uh, UPS paid me ten dollars and 
99 cent. Smucker paid me $15 with some other large amounts. Snap on paid me $12.66 on June 9th. Then I received $8.47 from Home Depot. Texas Rojas, the steak place, paid me $6.67 on June 23rd. United Healthcare paid me a uh, measly $4.34. But right here, towards the end of the month, I, I began to receive some high dividends. I received uh, a high dividend of $13.86 from T. World Price, the uh, financial in investor uh, company. And then also Broadcom paid me $13.87. So if you add up all these different amounts, I received over $150 in dividend income. And so in the next ring, right here, boom. Here is, so I, I, I invested in, in a new technology for me to basically show my dividend portfolio for you guys. Just because I know you guys uh been watching me. I'm, I'm over 2,000 subscribers. And so as I begin to grow, I want to grow my content to show you guys as many different things. So just to go over this, this dividend dashboard of my portfolio right now. I also, I, I uh, did some purchases on Friday. I bought some EPD. I sold my mark. I sold my MasterCard stock. It was roughly $1,500 and I bought EPD and I also bought what else did I buy? I bought EPD and I bought some Visa. And so right here, my yearly income uh, for my overall dividend portfolio is $1,575 right now. I, I foresee by the end of 2023 that my yearly dividend income will be over $1,600. Sweet, right? So it shows right here that my average monthly dividend is $131. My dividend portfolio yield is 3.65%. Not bad. And then what, what you see right here is what you see right here is here is my portfolio. Here is my portfolio over time. Here's my my portfolio over time, and you see that right here, that my portfolio ha has been increasing and going. I'm I'm, I'm close to fifty thousand. Uh, my dividend income broken up by uh, by industry right here is bro broken up with technology twelve uh, twelve percent. Healthcare is uh, I can see it, it looks like sixteen percent. Uh, consumer defense is my largest, and then over here, as you see right here, uh, if if I was to zoom out. Boom. You see that uh, my largest in terms of living income is Mo, Outra, which is a consumer staple, and then Enbridge, which is oil and gas, and, which is energy, and then everything else. I think Avi is, is the second largest, third largest, but everything besides that, all of my other dividend income is quite uh, balanced. And then another, another thing is... You see right here. Here's here is my dividend dividend yield cost, uh, dividend yield on uh yield on cost. And as you see right here, some some of the stocks right here has a high, high dividend yield on cost, which is uh, Abvi, uh, Mo, EPD, and Enbridge, and then also United Healthcare. And these is because I bought these stocks. I bought these stocks five years ago. And so we, we, when I bought these stocks five years ago and had the dividend increases, uh, it basically, yeah. So it, it basically has been in increasing in, in its dividend and been sweet, man. Here is the, the dividend uh, 2023 calendar. And so, so moving forward, uh, right here, here is my investment dashboard. And then with my investment dashboard, you see right here that the market value is of my portfolio is $47,855, has a gain of $4,000. As you see right here, uh, 
here is all of my stocks right here to the right. I don't I don't have any, any crypto right now. And then right here it, it shows that here is the the cost and and the market value of my certain stocks and then cost is what what I bought the stock in at and the market value is the red of where is that right now. So there you go. And then right here this this graph shows the the, the growth of actual stocks. So if I, if, if I bought a stock at a certain price, what's the growth of that I've, I've been receiving or return on assets or return on capital of that particular stock? And so I just see right here that uh, Broadcom has is almost close to 75% in terms of growth. Then you have uh, Coca-Cola. And then as you see, the, the ones with the, the largest bars is, is the, the ones that uh, ironically are the, the companies that I've held the longest, like Broadcom, Coca-Cola, KLC, Microsoft, so on, so on. And so as I be begin to hold on to other stocks, then my growth of, of my not only my portfolio, but those stocks will increase over time. And then lastly, what I want to show is that the power of dividend investing. And so right here, this shows that right here, so if, if the wanted to just reinvest my dividends, my, po my portfolio. Uh, if I if I didn't add any extra money into my portfolio and for it to grow organically, that my portfolio and within five years, if I didn't add anything else, I would have a a portfolio value of eighty nine thousand and dividend income of ten thousand dollars, and then ten years of re reinvesting of dividends, I would have a yearly, uh, my portfolio would be roughly 168,000. And, and this would mean not adding no other sense with my 47,000, just letting it uh, grow organically. 10 years later, I would have, uh, it would be spent out dividends of $5,389. $5, and uh, the total dividend income would be $30,000. But the yearly dividend income will be five thousand dollars, and the portfolio balance will be one hundred sixty-eight. So, let, let's say right here, if I if I stay consistently, and, and this is just reinvest the dividends. This this is not showing that me adding extra capital to my dividend portfolio. If I would, if I didn't do anything else, and I if I just let my portfolio grow for twenty years, my yearly dividend income would be nineteen thousand dollars. The total the total dividend income that this, this portfolio would have would have paid me would, uh, throughout the twenty years would have been, would have been one hundred and forty thousand dollars, but it would, it would have been reinvested back into the portfolio. That's why you you would have seen the growth. And then in twenty years, you would see that my por por portfolio balance will be six hundred and six hundred thousand and nine nine hundred sixty six dollars and seventy six cents. So imagine if I continue to add more money into my dividend portfolio at ten thousand dollars per year or paying roughly nine hundred to a thousand dollars per month i will be able to accelerate the growth of my dividend portfolio within 20 years so that honestly if i can get this nineteen thousand to thirty thousand forty thousand then boom i could be able to retire and by 50 and then leave and go live in you know columbia or go live in london somewhere because I would be able to sell my house and then also have crypto and other things for, for me to work on. And then also have my different side businesses as well. So all of all, overall, uh, I'm currently uh, in, the, in the month of June. I made a hundred and over $150 in dividend income, passive income. This shows right here. Uh, the, the different charts and, and the stock allocation of my dividend portfolio right here. I have a dividend portfolio balance of $47,855 and I plan on buying more. So if you guys enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to my channel. And I'm so glad you guys decided to, to uh, click on this and to see just the, the value of, of my dividend stocks and what I plan on doing. And I hope you guys enjoy your day. Peace.